Got to run 13, and uh, today I'm putting out. Hey guys, got to run 13, and uh, today I'm putting out a video. And to begin with, uh, this is actually my hundredth video that I noticed. Uh, that this will be my hundredth video I put up on YouTube. So I'm kind of excited about that, you know. Um, from the time I put my first video up. I didn't really think of uh, how many videos I would end up putting up, but 100, um, 100 videos came pretty quick, it seems like. Um, and there's so many more things that I'd like to talk about and bring to you guys um, in the future. So, um, you know, it's nice to, nice to hit, a, uh, hit a mark like 100. Um, something that I'm excited about for my channel. I hope uh, my videos have you've enjoyed my videos and uh, I hope you keep enjoying my videos through the future um, in the future that'd be great um, discussing uh, different items and topics like I you know, continue to talk about previously so uh, just get that out of the way 100th video um, this video is gonna be taking taking me back to a prior video on home defense where I talk about personal defense and home defense and particularly there's a firearm I want to speak about for the exact to use in the exact way of, of a home defensive weapon um, so we'll kind of talk about that on my prior video I spoke about um, 12 gauge shotgun be my primary home defense and specifically this Remington 870 there was a time actually guys I I, I, I kept a um, what I like to do is I like to do a uh, combination um, that's just the way I like to for home defense that I have a shotgun by my side and also a sidearm pistol which would be a nine millimeter okay there was a time I used to keep at my ready at night a, uh, a Stoger 12 gauge uh, double barrel coach gun. Um, and the reasoning behind that is um, no easier firearm to manipulate in the middle of the night when you're half asleep and you, you don't know what's going on. Uh, that double barrel 12 gauge, you know, should be enough to handle the, the problem but also having a uh, backup pistol. But I pretty much use either my uh, Remington 870 for my home defense or a uh, Mossberg 590. But mainly my 870 right here, which you know I've discussed in other videos. Um, I don't think I ever really did do a full review on this, but maybe one day. Um, you know, this is what I use. A white light you know and I also go with the nine millimeter backup um, I'd like to have the two guns present okay so with the 12 gauge and the nine millimeter would be the firearms of choice that I use and I think that's pretty sufficient to cover home defense plus you know my wife is trained to use her firearm too so she will she is equipped also, and you know, in a further video I will discuss our family plan that we have for a home invasion. Um, but she is equipped to use her uh, 9mm pistol also. Okay. So that's basically the firearms we would use in a nutshell. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is talking about carbine, pistol carbine, rifles, pistol, pistol carbines, sorry. Um, you know, there's a few different models out there, and I do have the uh, kel Sub 2000 in the 9mm configuration, okay? Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is I want to talk about this specific firearm to be used for home defensive purposes. Um, to me, this is a great firearm for, you know, when you're out and about, you know, it'd be great for a tr trunk gun, 
or if you're going camping, stuff like that, something you can easily fold up and stick in a pack. Um, and that's why I mainly bought this, my main purpose of buying this. And there are some things you can do to this firearm, but I wanted to keep it pretty much just stock as is because I really like the fold up capabilities of this, you know, and I did not want to mess with that. I wanted to keep that intact. Well, you know, a buddy of mine on YouTube recently purchased one and we were talking and I've seen some videos out there. I know recently, um, nothing fancy, just did a, uh, a whole like four part video on uh, pistol carbines and stuff like that. Um, and I've talked to some people about using this in a home defensive manner. So it got me thinking about, about this particular firearm to be used in home defense. And I talked to a few people and I've, I've read some things out there on forums and stuff where people, you know, don't really see this as, as a good firearm for home protection. Um, but I think different. I think different on that. I think this would be an excellent, excellent weapon for home defense. And that being said, for one, it is a rifle. It's a shoulder fired, shoulder fired carbine that shoots a pistol caliber. Now, I would love to be able to use an AK-47 or an AR-15 to fill that role of home defense. You know, this will stop somebody in their tracks and 30 rounds to back it up. 29 rounds to back it up. Um, but I do think about over penetration and neighbors and people who live in my house and stuff like that. That is important. Um, so a rifle cartridge is out of the question for me. I would not use that in, in the role of home defense. But I would like to, uh, I do like the idea of using the pistol carbine. Now, with the pistol carbine, in particular this, this Keltec, they do make, for one, they do make a quad rail. Uh, through Caltech, which is pretty cool. And I didn't want to mess with aftermarket parts because I did not want to take away from the func functional functionality of being able to fold fold this thing up still. But uh, with that crop, uh, quad rail, you can very well still fold this thing up. And I thought about, you know, doing some of the mods to this thing. I figured, why not, you know? I didn't want to do that in the beginning, but now knowing you can get the quad rail, still fold this thing up, and why I think this is an excellent um, firearm for home defenses, you know, it takes clock magazines, you get your 33 round magazine, and now you've got yourself a shoulder fired pistol carbine. Yeah, 30 rounds to back you up. It's light. It's easy to maneuver through small hallways. Um, it's pretty accurate, pretty darn accurate. You know, it takes that 9mm bullet to a new level. Um, you know, taking it this outside of the house, you know, it's pretty accurate. Past 100 yards, up to 100 yards and beyond. Um, but inside the house, why not? I think this would be excellent. You know, I like the high capacity mag capability. You can throw in your, uh, you know, your Glock 17 round mags in there if you want also. Um, you can throw on, with the quad rail, you can throw on a forward vertical grip. These angled grips, actually feels like that might be a little comfortable on there. I might want to try that out because I could still use that and fold it up. But they also have um, a folding vertical grip, which would be perfect in this for, you know, folding this firearm up and being able to use still in, in, in that capability. So you can still have the folding pistol grip. You could throw yourself a white light on here. I think that would be great. Um, you could even throw yourself a nice compact red dot scope on here. Um, 
problem. So you could do some things to this thing to make this an accurate indoor home defensive firearm. So I'm thinking about possibilities of that and actually doing that. And um, I think this would make an awesome home defensive weapon. So that's the main reason why I wanted to put that video out there, guys. I'm going to do a two-parter on this. I'm going to talk more about the Caltech and actually using it in that matter. Um, you know, maybe do a before and after type of thing. And, um, you know, discussing this further once I make some mods to this firearm. And, um, and still using this as a home defensive weapon and for a, a compact that I can take for a trunk on or out in the wilderness. Like I said, you got the folding vertical grip. You know, if you get the red dot scope on here with quad rail, you get a quick detach so you can pop that off real quick. You know, get something so it's set, still set and hold zero and be able to fold this thing up. If I could do that, then I would be okay with modding this thing up. But, so that's something I'm thinking about doing, modding this thing up and, and turning that into a little bit more of a functional home defensive weapon. It is as is, but sure, it will be nice to have a folding folding stock on here and putting a, uh, a micro red dot sight, maybe co-witnessing it between the two uh, with your iron sights. Uh, adding a white light. You don't want to do too much. I don't want to make this thing too heavy because it is uh, four pounds dry. So I want to still have this intact for its capabilities now. But all in all, I think the subcompact really would make a good home defensive weapon. That was my main reason for the video. I thought about it a lot, you know, and I've heard some people think that they don't think it would be. But, um, you know, if you're going to use a 9 millimeter pistol or a 40 caliber pistol for home defense, why not a shoulder fired version of that same firearm? Um, gives you that higher mag capacity. And like I said, this is easy to maneuver through hallways, small small ha hallways and uh, walkways. I think this would make an awesome, excellent home defensive fire. So guys, just a video on that. It's going to be a two-parter. Um, I'm going to work on getting the quad rail, setting up that micro dot on here. Uh, either going with the folding vertical grip or maybe this angle vertical grip. Popping one on here too. I think that would be... Uh, kind of cool. I think that might work out pretty good. Maybe the folding one though, if not this, because I still want this rifle to be able to fold up into a compact package. So um, That's pretty much it. I'll do a two-parter. Once I start getting that, those products in, I'll, I'll pop on a video um, on that and we'll go over what I've done to it and, you know, what the purpose between this firearm is going to be for me if it will play that role you know I don't want to take away anything from the 12 gauge shotgun in the combination with the pistol I'm using right now um, I feel real safe with that but uh, anybody who has one of these especially somebody you know a little low on the dollars you know doesn't have a lot of money to spend these things are not that super expensive get them between 300 400 on the high side usually about 325 350 um, the quad rail is going to cost you about 100 bucks. You know, if you get a dot, red dot sight, hey, the iron sights are very functional. Like I said, this thing is accurate, as is, 100 yards easily. Um, with some decent groupings, try that with a pistol. Um, just the thoughts of being able to use that shoulder fired 30 round plus, or 30 round, yeah, 30 round plus capability. In a home environment for a home defense package, I think is a, a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. So I'd like to hear more about about this, guys, and look for the upcoming video. Tell me what you think, and anybody else who has Caltex Sub 2000, um, you know, what's their purpose for it? Do, and do they share my same ideas and thoughts and, and all that good stuff? So once again, gonna run 1300 video. Uh, I look forward to doing uh, more videos for you here in the future. Uh, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks, YouTube.